A nonprofit that serves domestic violence survivors is the target of vandalism. It's called Monsoon Asians and Pacific Islanders in Solidarity. And as you can see right here, they have been hit hard. Almost every wall covered with graffiti in their community center. Local 5's Lake and McGee has the details. Walls covered. Almost every wall here has graffiti on it. Cleanup underway. Most of the walls we can't show you because of the profanity. Uh, the attic is there, so we know that the attic was also broken into. Because there was a piece right there, right? Yeah, yeah it's missing. Q Fum, the assistant director of the nonprofit, says there was thousands of dollars worth of damage. There was a knife that was used to cut up our couch. Um, the knife itself, the blade was burnt. Um, there was, you know, urine, people urinated over the floors. Uh, I think we, you know, we smelled fecal matter. And no security cameras to catch who did this. So there's not going to be much cleaning this graffiti off of the wall because this is actually permanent spray paint. So they're going to have to paint the entire wall. And then right over here is the entryway to the basement. They graffitied the door. And then, as you can see, they either punched or kicked a big hole in the door. I think obviously the, the damage that was done is pretty indicative of a bunch of kids. The Des Moines Police Department says the walls have gang signs on them, but but don't believe it's gain related. I think this is an example of some kids having just enough knowledge to, to be dangerous, you know, and maybe get some things on a wall that might spark something. Back at the community center. It felt a lot more vicious, that kind of damage, than just the spray paint. FOM says this isn't going to stop the community from using this space. Just rallying together, uh, processing this, and we'll move on. Reporting in Des Moines, Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.